Hey, thank you so much for chatting with me. Of course. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm Sam. I'm with 97X in Tampa and also X106.5 in Jacksonville. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Me too. <laughs> so I just, first I want to say thank you so much for doing this and also for the song, Love From The Other Side. You know, when when one of your favorite bands hasn't, you know, released new music in the in, for a while, you're like, oh, what, not sure what to expect. When we heard that song, me, my program director here, we were like, it is the fallout boy we have always loved, but like on a new level. It's amazing. Thank you so much. It was um, it's uh, it was really scary because I didn't really realize that it had been so long. It wasn't you know, we, we started the record. We started writing the record not that long after uh, Mania, but, you know, some stuff happened in between now and then. Oh. You know, there's <laughs> <laughs> the whole pandemic we you know we tried to we started writing the record on zoom and then that didn't go so well <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> um so by the time the song came out you know there was there were you know almost five years of of build up now um which was a little bit scary you know i was kind of like you know i i i hope i hope people i the whole time the whole time leading up to it, i was like i hope people feel the way i feel about it like i really like i like this record a lot i hope i hope it finds people you know oh it definitely it definitely did find people and you know with so much having happened in that in this break that five-year time did any of that go into the lyrics uh have a big influence on the album yeah um it's interesting because pete uh so you know for a lot some people don't know um the way the band's the band works it's kind of funny um so i'm the singer and i write most of the music but then pete our bass player writes most of the lyrics so it's kind of this you know uh this weird you know it's, 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 yeah it's, it is but it's a weird experience because i feel like um i feel like it's not it's kind of an interpretive thing you know so when i when i'm saying i'm singing somebody else's words it's a lot of responsibility in the in this weird way um but anyway because of that uh it was interesting reading his words as i'm working on this working on this music you know because yeah it was it's <laughs> we've been accused in the in the past of being you know um you know emo or dark or sad or whatever and it's it's really strange because when you're talking about the world you know like and and the and you know you're going through the world uh there's there's it's almost a lot bleaker you know <laughs> but it's weird it's weird exactly it's like, it's more subtle though, because it's like it's not like it, it's more just like it's when I read these lyrics, it's like he's walking around, you know, walking around town, just looking around, being like, "Wow, this is this is a mess," you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's accurate. <laughs> yeah. So when you're going through. I'm curious how you get to the point where, like, with Love From The Other Side, how do you decide that that's the song? Do you just know once you, like, for the first single, do you just know when I, you hear, like, this is what we've come back know. with? I don't know. I didn't think it was. Um, I really, I was really sure um, that it wasn't. I thought it was too, you know, I, I, I tend to have these grandiose ideas, you know, I, I wanted an orchestra and this piano intro um, and, you know, I, I had all these weird little things in my mind. Um, and usually those are the things that I feel like, I, you know, maybe I'm shy about it or something, but I, I just assume that's not what people want. Um, so, so, you know, I, you know, when we were finished with the song, I loved it. And I was like, this is something that really means something to me, but I don't know if anybody else will like it. And then we were in a meeting um, at uh, Thuba Raman, the label, um, and we were kind of talking about the first song and every, it was unanimous. Everybody said other side. I was like, really? Like, you know, I was totally, I was totally in disbelief. You know, I was like the one with the, the one with the orchestra, <laughs> like, the one with the, you know, so, so I don't know if I pick the singles, they, they would be the wrong song. I think every time. So, <laughs> well, no, I'm sure that I'm sure they're all great. And, you know, those grandiose ideas that you say you have, do you, get to kind of like channel that into planning a tour like what do you now we're getting into that time where you're probably mm -hmm. rehearsing you're thinking about what it's going to look like which will be here in tampa uh july 25th yeah. very exciting so how do you how do you paint the picture <laughs> so you know that's one of the things that's always interesting is you know 
we're kind of in between in terms of the way a lot of bands are where we're where we are just four guys that go out and play and and you know bounce around on stage and we're loud and stuff but then we also are kind of such a studio thing where you know i you know um where i you know i'll do all these layers of harmonies and i do all these layers of you know orchestra and, and things that are just like you know, every song is like that and has like so many elements that it almost becomes impossible. It's like we, if we were actually to try and do do all of that precisely live, we'd have to tour with like, you know, 100 <laughs> yeah. people. You know, um, Each town you go to, you can just get the local orchestra, like yeah, local right. high school band. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> I think Chuck Berry used to do that. He would just he didn't have a band. He would just roll with a guitar and, and hire a band every night. And be like, ah, you know, Chuck Berry songs, right? Um uh, can you imagine going into an orchestra? Yeah, you know, Fall Out Boy, right? You know? Yeah, it's on the <laughs> you <know>. playlist. <laughs> yeah, you, you all know it. Um, but uh, but uh, anyway, the um, yeah. So I don't know. It, it's always kind of interesting because we always want to um, bring elements of it, but you also have to kind of rework it for for a live show. So, and honestly, we're not done with it yet so i don't know what the we're not done with the planning of the show yet so i don't know what the show is going to look like yet um but i mean i know it's going to be big the thing i always <laughs> worry about is pete pete always and this is kind of a thing that it's been going on for you know 20 years now he will last minute surprise me with something that i have to do for the whole tour that is wild we're like it's like okay you're going to be you know 40 feet in the air or you know you're gonna get sh you're gonna get shot out of the floor that happened on one tour you know and every time I'm like I get there and I'm like what you know like I have to you know so um I I have no idea what what's gonna I you know uh, the first show uh first show I think is Chicago I think that you know if you're at the Chicago show you'll see me figuring out what it is that I'm doing <laughs> is it is it better that way for you so you don't overthink it or get any anxiety about sometimes it? sometimes but then it's also funny because I think uh you know I think he doesn't mean to do it but then sometimes he also kind of gets a kick out of it so the last yes. tour <laughs> the last tour my piano was on fire and he was like and he was like, oh, you know, the piano, that's pretty scary. I'm like, actually, I'm OK with that. There's like safety glass. I'm OK. I think the fire is fine, you know, whatever. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, oh, he was almost like, oh, OK, I got to I got to try harder next time. <laughs> Let's put it on fire and dangle you over the crowd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Well, that's something to look forward to for sure. And I just kind of want your opinion on, um, you know, we've had this almost I want to call it like an overcorrection pendulum swing of we didn't have live shows for that moment in time. And yeah. now it seems like these tours, artists, just like you had to add that London date recently. It's like we love it so much that there's this crazy like wave of ticket purchasing. And do you have an opinion on where that's coming from? I mean, artists like Taylor Swift, she's doing three days here. It's just crazy to me. <laughs> it's wild. I mean, I think there's a combination of, yeah, we were all cooped up for a long time and i think that that really made you know that that made you know distance makes the heart grow fonder right you know exactly, <laughs> but, yeah. but but i also think that um it's a weird time where artists now it's like there was a period there where you know people didn't really know how to tour almost you know um and i think you know t taylor's a great a great example um i think she built this this thing of like when you see a taylor swift show that's like a that is a show you know that's their that's experiences a, yeah that's a big yeah. show right and and i think i think the whole bar for for shows has been raised in a way in the past 10 years or so that that it hadn't been you know like we've been doing it for 20 years when we started you know and granted we were a little band but even the big even a lot of big bands you just go out there with some you know speakers and you know and you know play loud and jump around and stuff and and I think there's become this kind of like um, appetite for, you know, a show, you know, people and it, and it kind of really built. And so now I think um, now I think an audience kind of wants to see a show because because it's going to be something and you're probably not going to, you know, you're not going to see it next time, too. That's the other thing is that, you, you know, when you're when when you kind of go out there and play the hits and that's just kind of the thing, you know, you can see that show a couple of times, you know, whatever. But. But when it's when you know that there's going to be, you know, I don't know, I, I don't even know the explosions and stuff and the 
in the staging and some of the bills, some of the, some of the tickets that people, you know, we got to go off the green day and Weezer, like, you know, that's the kind of thing. It's like, that'll never happen again. You know? So I think it's like, it's like those kind of things getting, um, I think those are the things that make people want to get out to see shows. I mean, you know, I want to go out and see shows, you know? Uh, yeah. It's almost like we're, we have so much social media in our face when we finally get to see the real thing. Now we're like, yes, yeah. this is it. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird. It kind of, um, it, it's kind of strange the way that, um, you know, social media is cool, but it's also kind of, it's made that, yeah, like you said, it's made that experience a little bit more, more tangible. It's like, it's really, it's, it's cooler to see a show now because you're like, cause you can't see that on your, you can, you can see a camera phone over, but it's not anything like being there, you know? Definitely. And, um, you know, you mentioned Weezer, and you had rivers in your music video <laughs> was that a bond that you had before but got stronger through the hella mega tour are you guys all friends because that really was such a cool thing three iconic bands together <laughs> yeah um so rivers we've known for years um and i was just talking about this but it, it's a very strange thing where you know i had this moment the other day i was talking to him um, you know, I was just kind of, just kind of talking. It wasn't really, you know, anything that serious and whatever. And it kind of struck me. It was like in the middle of conversation, it just hit me. I was like, I was like, you were a God to me when I was, you know, like when I was like 15, like you were the, you know, like I, you know, you were it man. And like, and it's weird because now, you know, it's this kind of commonplace thing. Where it's like, Oh, Hey rivers, you know, good to see you. But like, you know, to put yourself back in being 15 and being like, I'm on tour with Green Day. I'm on tour with Weezer. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, like it, 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 like it's so surreal. It's like it's, um, you know, and you have to kind of stop and catch yourself a little bit. And so, anyway, um, we're so you know now we're cool enough with with Rivers that we can ask him to be in the video, and he's like, yeah, sure, you know. But it, 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 it it's this weird thing that doesn't. Like I said, you almost have to pinch yourself sometimes and be like, be like, yes, yeah, that's real. That's a real thing. You know? <laughs> that's awesome. It's 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 cool to see. It's like it's like when TV shows crossed over when you're a kid. It's like so <laughs> yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's, I mean, it's just amazing. Like it's it's weird to be in that world at all. You know, it's weird. It's real. Like I said, it, it could not be more surreal. I don't feel like, you know, I should be the guy on. You know, it, it's weird. I, I, yeah. I, I put all, I put everything into these records and I put everything into the performances when we go on stage and stuff, but in my life, I'm just this like dad, you know? And, <laughs> and so it's like, so it's like, it's like, I'm this weird, you know, dad that goes out and plays stadiums sometimes. It's so weird. It's like, it doesn't. It doesn't... And lights his piano on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no big deal. No, and and I, I get shot out of the floor and stuff. It's very, like I said, it's so surreal. It's, um, and it's, and you have to kind of stop and appreciate it sometimes because, you know, it's, yeah, we get to hang out with Weezer, you know, so. Well, we're excited to see you here in Tampa. That's for sure. It's going to be an amazing show. You have fan long, like very long time fans here. I actually have a friend um, who just had a Fallout Boy themed uh, bachelorette party. Oh, nice. And <laughs> they had shirts and hats that said Sarah's last dance dance. <laughs> So. Oh, that's awesome! I was gonna say, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of places you can go with that lyric with the lyrics. So I was, yeah. I was I'm hoping that they had some some fun ones, something uh, printed was, on the napkins, you know. It was very cool. It was very cool. So we will all be uh, front row, ready to see whatever that's tricks awesome. you have for us this time. And <laughs> we're super excited for the album um, and everything with that. So just thank you for taking the time. And of course, yeah. X X one hundred six point five. We're always here for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having. Me.